All right, guys, I'm here in Bel Air, and I just wanted to pull over and just share something with you because I'm looking at all this um, social media stuff, you know, all these people posting things about their um, training and their training and their training and their training and they keep on training and they're still training. Okay, let me get out of the sun. And they're still training. Oh, wait, did I mention training? Still training. And training. And and training. And and training. All right, you guys get the point. So, look, you shouldn't be training, training, training all day long, training, training, training on product knowledge knowledge like people are training on on product they want to learn they want to learn everything about the product about the knowledge of the product so they're training training all these programs for uh, mortgages or real estate like how much training do you need like i say it all the time guys i don't train i train product knowledge i train 20 percent. 20 percent of my time is training on the products on the knowledge, on the information. You know what 80% is for me? You know how I get these cars and, and these watches and live in Bel Air and fucking start businesses from left and right from scratch? You know how I do that? You know how I create all these um, relationships with billionaires? With billionaires? Because 80% of it is people knowledge. It's execution. It's called doing the work. Doing the work. Knowing how to sell. Executing. People knowledge. You don't need product knowledge. You don't need to train all day for a month, for years. There's so many people that have been training for 20 years and they're still fucking broke. They're not doing anything with it. What's the point of training? Being in the office all day. Training, training, training. You're having... And if you're training with dumb people, you're just gonna get dumber. Do you get, do you get that? If you're training with people that are dumb, you're gonna get dumb, dumber. If you're already dumb, you're gonna get dumber. You're borderline something else. So you gotta, you gotta first of all watch the source of your advice. Okay. If you're taking knowledge, if you're taking information, if you're asking for advice, make sure that these people are have uh, created results. They have results. They live the dream life you want. They treat their family the way you want to treat their family, the way you want to treat your family. They treat their wives with royal, royal, royal uh, treatment. They take care of it. their parents. They take care of um, everybody in their company. They have an actual real company. They're they're just living the life that you want to have one day, hopefully soon. So make sure that whenever you're coaching, training, you're going um, to the right people for it. You're going to the right people for information and you are actually, um, yeah. So look, you need, you need people knowledge, okay? People knowledge, focus on people knowledge, people skills, sales, creating relationships and, and go execute. Go out there and hunt. Go out there and hunt. Stop in being in the office training all day, especially if you're training with people that are not the best trainers people that have no results they don't have the life your dream life if, they, if people if you're learning from people that don't have your dream life then you run away run away now especially if your company doesn't have any production like you guys have no production the company has no production then why the hell are you training you keep training and you have no production you got to focus on production like stop training if you have no production Training is not gonna get you production. You know what's gonna get you production? To go out there and hunt. Go out there and hunt. Oh, well, Albert, I don't feel comfortable. I don't like talking to strangers. I don't know how to talk to people and ask for business. Look, you're gonna go ask for business and you're gonna get a no. You're gonna get no's and then guess what? Next time you go, you're gonna get better and you're gonna get less no's and one day you're gonna get a yes. You gotta go out there and make mistakes. Go out there and break out of your comfort zone. Stop being a timid little bitch. Don't be a timid little bitch and go out there and talk to people. Okay, I was a timid little bitch and I couldn't get fucking girls. And you know what? 
once I stopped being a timid little bitch, I went up to girls and I got a lot of no's. And then guess what? I got so good at it that every time I went up to a girl, I got a yes. And every time I went to a girl, it was a 10. A 10 of a girl, a dime, whatever you call those, those girls nowadays. I got yeses and yeses and yeses all the time. Whenever I got a no, ugh, whenever I got a no, it was like, damn, man, I can't believe you got a no. I always got yeses from 10s. And it's because I got better because I practiced, because I went out there and executed. You got to go out there and execute. Training all day is not executing. Training all day is not. It's a big difference between jacking off and actually doing it with somebody, getting married, having babies, big difference. So if you're training, all you're doing is just jacking off all day. Stop jacking off all day and go out there and hunt. Do it for yourselves, make mistakes, be timid. Yeah, who cares? Go out there and, and show your, your that you're nervous. And guess what? You're gonna get better with practice. So stop wasting your time training. Okay, now I see a lot of people coaching. Oh, I'm getting coaching from this person, getting coaching from this person. If you're getting coaching from a loser, somebody that has no results, that's been losing all life long, you're getting coaching from somebody that does not have your dream life, what are you doing? Go read a book. Man, I'll recommend you some books. Look, I'm gonna end it with this, okay? Stop training, stop coaching, go out there, stop jacking off, go out there and actually do the work. Get married, have babies, make mistakes, break out of your comfort zone. And you know how you do that? By being in the right environment, by having the right relationships, by having the right leader, by having the right information. Focus on more production, less training, people knowledge, not product knowledge. So look, hope this helps. If you guys wanna join the winner circle, hit me up, hit me up. Come to our training. We have free training Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But you know what? We only train once a week. We train once a week. You know what we do with the rest of the time? We actually execute. We actually buy Ferraris. We actually buy diamond watches. We actually upgrade our office. We actually get results. And you know what? The people under, uh, the, the people under me got results. Now they drive their Ferraris. Now they have their million dollar homes. Now they have their own offices. And guess what? Now people under them have their Ferraris. They drive their million dollar home. They, they have million dollar homes. They're winning. And it's like a pyramid of people winning under, people that started with somebody, now they're winning. Now the people under them are winning. People under them are willing. That's true success. When you create leaders, sales leaders, and you, be, you create success from people that started under you, that start started under them, that started under them, them, whatever you wanna call it. So look, if you wanna join the winner circle, you only need training once a week. There's six other days to go out there and produce, to make some money. You know, you don't have to train with a bunch of dumbasses. If you wanna train once a week, and then you wanna learn how to create millions in the other six days, six days, and then plus one, reach out to me, DM me, let me know if this helps. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know if this helps. And if you want to learn from El Principe de Bel Air, comment below, send me a DM, and let me know what else you want me to cover, all right? Because I'm a proud Mexican-American because I was made in Mexico, but I was born in the U.S., and I, and I have my grit. I have my balls as a Mexican. But you know what? America gave me opportunity, opportunities. And I am a very proud Mexican-American. Para mi gente latina, si se puede. And for all my gringos, hermanos, I love you guys. Let's kill it.